in the eastern provinces of Poland with such names as Chelmno, Sobibor, Belzec, Szeblinka, Majdanek, or to Auschwitz, a camp now known to the whole world. Auschwitz was half concentration camp and half extermination camp and was run by Oswald Pohl's SS Economic and Administrative Office. Joseph Elber was born in 1897 in the Sudetenland. As a textile worker, he joined the SS in 1939. From 1940, he was a sergeant in the Gestapo office in Auschwitz and was responsible for receiving new arrivals. I had in Birkenau I had at Birkenau, not far from the platform, a block leader's hut by the woman's camp. There I also had two rooms. And there I checked the number of prisoners who had arrived and handed over a receipt. When the transport leader and guard has left, the people were formed up in rows, so they could pass in front of the doctor, and then he selected those who had to go into the camp, and those who must be gassed. The officials who operated Heydrich's extermination camps belonged to the security police and had been involved at the beginning of the war in the euthanasia, or T4, program. In the three extermination camps, for example, and you have to understand this clearly, there were not more than 100 German SS people special action group people who came from T4. And in addition, there was in each camp 120 Ukrainian guards. And it was with this personnel that the mass murders in the three camps were carried out in one and a half years. Which, when you think about it, is a very short space of time during which 1,750,000 Jews died. One of the men who administered the injections was Joseph Clare, born 1904 in Upper Silesia, joined the SS in 1932, carpenter by trade. In 1934, he was a nurse in a mental asylum. During August 1939, Clare enrolled in the Waffen SS, and in October 1941, came to Auschwitz as a medical orderly. They died at once as soon as they were injected. As I have said before, the man was already dead even before the whole of the injection had been given. This death was not so gruesome as the gassing. That was a gruesome death. It was like in a beehive. He came into the gas chamber and when they were ready, he went up and gave the order. And then the gas was fed into the chimney. And then there was a buzzing, mm, mm, mm. and the tone got quieter and quieter until you couldn't hear anything more. That was a gruesome death. Oswald Kaduk, born in 1906, butcher and fireman, served in Auschwitz as a block leader with the rank of corporal. He was tried and found guilty of 10 cases of murder and at least 1,000 cases of accessory to murder and saw many executions carried out at Auschwitz. 